This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. has to be the most bonkers preset that I've ever tried on any modeler. Uh, I think I might have done something roughly similar to this with the Helix, but it's it's not something that excels at in the same way that the Axe effects. So this was based on Matt Picone's New Year's Eve um, kind of old Lang Syne uh, preset. And I kind of got in there with the Axe FX Mark II. I think he designed this on the Turbo so I can't run the full preset, but I, I made some tweaks and I think it's genuinely kind of crazy what you can do with the Axe FX 3. Um, so what's going on with the preset? You've got a, a synth and some sequencer stuff doing like the, the kick and snare. And you've also got another synth doing the chords and you can change the chords with your feet. Um, and, you know, I don't know whether this is the sort of thing that you use a ton live. However, I have started, and I did this the other day, using a, a little bit of a, a pad type effect on the HX effects. I used that live because I was playing uh, some tunes uh, in a, a single guitar, um, bass, drum, vocal kind of setup. And I found actually some of these things can really help to enhance the sound, particularly if you're playing a tune which is a, a little bit more poppy, dance orientated. And you're thinking like there's nothing really kind of sparkly happening here and you know normally on a record you might have i don't know some synths or something some of this stuff where you're not having to use your feet too much can be really useful for live i think obviously kind of tapping your feet and doing a full foot switching gig is probably not possible but um i wanted to delve into the preset a little bit and maybe think about things that we could do with this um but i, I think it's a really cool sound uh, i think that's the das metal uh for the lead tone as well as an ir player that he's put together and that sounds pretty cool on um, the expression pedal i just uh controlled the gain so i had it sort of lower and then the max was five 
And so when I want the slightly lower gain lead tone, I would use the expression pedal because obviously the scenes are controlling um, like the lead, not the lead tone, the chords and the backing. So I didn't want to um, use a separate button for anything else. Uh, let me know if you've seen more crazy stuff done with the Axe Effects. Um, the other thing I found really cool that I've done with the Axe Effects as well was to, uh, you can set like the range on the guitar so that when you play certain notes higher up, you get different effects. And there's a preset that I put together that goes between like a rhythm tone for chuggy stuff to super sustaining big delay lead tone. I find that sort of thing must have a use. It's not something that I've delved into loads yet, but I just found this quite an inspiring little thing to play, so I wanted to share it with you. It's not often necessarily that you find something that's like totally out there, um, but you know, have you seen this done with any other modeler? I think I've done a little bit of a, a drum machine with Helix, but not with the same amount of flexibility as the Axe Fex. And do you see yourself ever using this sort of thing live? Are you someone who's managed to find a way to integrate these sorts of things into a live setup, or are these purely gimmicks? I'd like to know your thoughts on that as well, if you care to share them. So this is totally bonkers and right on the edge of what the Axe Fex can, can do at all. Um, you can see what's going on with this preset. This synth part here is kind of the drum part of it. Um, you know, we've got some fairly insane routing. You know, some of it's going down to a compressor before it comes out. The amp itself goes down here back through a plex delay. Amp also goes into a synth for the volume panning. This is for like the pitch stuff filters, it's a plex delay, it's really quite bonkers, but you can see what is happening when we turn on Um, but it's using so much CPU that this really doesn't want to uh, behave. But you can just see it's pretty bonkers. You've got the synth here. This one's doing the um, kind of actual chords. This one here is doing the drums. And yeah, I don't know. It's a preset. You can grab it on the forum. Uh, let me know if you want my one. I've made a couple of tweaks, but I would probably delete some of this uh, because might not be necessary. I wonder if that might be able to then run in the FM9. Let, let me know if you want me to try and create this for the FM9 or tweak it for the FM9 at least. Um, but it's really quite fun. Would you ever use it? I'm not sure but uh, yeah let's just look again quickly. So we press the scene one. <laughs> not actually showing the state changes anymore for some reason. I think it's because we're running the CPU so high. So we're really even getting to the edge case 
of what the most powerful modeler in the world is capable of. So that's kind of interesting to me, at least. Uh, hopefully it's kind of interesting to you as well. Uh, can you imagine doing this on any other device? Uh, I personally cannot. I hope that's okay to share with you. Uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to. This will be like JC Party. It's a little bit different to Matt, but obviously it came from Matt initially. Um, I don't think I need this delay because that doesn't do anything. I think this would run on FM9, to be honest. But could maybe tweak it a little bit. 